So if you've been following my tutorials, we've been rigging this little r cage here, and I'm not going to rig the other side of it, and basically at this point, I mean, it's not the best rig, but it works, and in order to do a, a better rig, really, it's just going to take time. There's no getting around it. Rigging is a pain. Um, but I've given you the, t the skills and everything that you really need to know in order to get it done. So if you go back to my original goal, it was I had this little character here that's very complex and that would be terrible to try to, you know, just try imagine trying to put the bones into this guy and to tell it which uh, which vertices go with which bones and and stuff. That would be a pain in the butt. And so we made this cage which completely surround well, it should have completed in fact, let's just go, okay, there. So, indeed, the cage does completely engulf that, that character. And the point, is, the point of doing that is now I can deform the cage, and that will deform the character. Well, how do I do that? Here's how. Let's, uh, let me see what my layers are. Oh, that was something else. Okay. I am going to hide this, um, the actual armature, H key. And now I am going to go into wireframe. I'm going to take that guy. Let's see, what is this thing called? That's called the whale frame. And that's called the whale walker. I am going to apply a modifier. And that modifier will be mesh deform. And now it tells you what object you want to deform it. Now, the stipulation is that this object, which is indeed this, this cage here, that has to completely surround it. You can't have any intersections. You can't just make a square down here. It won't work. So let's go find that whale walker, or the whale frame, that's what we called it. And now this precision determines how well it binds. I believe it, it's actually, it uses a polynomial expression. It doesn't matter. The higher you take that, the more accurate it will be as you deform this cage. It will more accurately deform the, the structure underneath, but it will also take a much longer time to bind. Uh, so I am going to put let's let's put five okay so now I'm gonna click bind and then I'm gonna click pause because it's probably gonna take a while it usually does so it's it's binding right now and you can see that that's done that and so you can even notice that it's gone into not responding oh hey it actually went really quickly okay well let's see if this works. So now let's unhide our our armature, which is right here, and now we can pose it. Now let's see how well it worked. So notice how now the the underlying that monster he moves with the the cage. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into normal mode. And now I don't want to look at that. In fact, I can just unclick that layer. Let's move the bone. Let's move the bones to the second layer. I press the M key to do that. And so now let's just show the second layer. So now all I've got is this bone and the actual monster. And now I can rotate, I can pose this, and you will see that indeed the monster is being deformed, though it's not really the monster is being deformed. What's happening is this is being deformed, which then goes back and deforms the monster. So this is a little trick that you can use if you've got a really complex uh, something to to uh, deform. Now notice how we've got an issue right here, and I'll tell you what that likely is from. We have a vertice that is outside that cage. So if I were to go over here to my whale, you'll notice that this vertice is outside of the cage. In fact, if I go and I un and I get everything back to its normal position. Yep, you can see right there. Notice how I missed some vertices. So that's what I was telling you. You got to make sure that this whale or whatever you're going to deform is completely inside the actual cage. And so in order to fix that, I've got to go, I've got to edit my cage. So I'm just going to select those vertices. I'm pressing Alt S. So that would be uh, scale along the normals. Alt S. Okay, just trying to get that thing completely inside. Now I don't like 
doing something in the cage that's so distorted, but hopefully it'll work. And now let's bind it again. Let's go back. I'm sorry, let's go back to layer two. And let's unbind it. We've got to go back to where we started. Let's make sure that we aren't deformed at all. So I'm, I'm selecting all the bones and I'm pressing Alt-R. That resets all the rotations. Alt-G would reset the position. Alt-R resets the rotations. Let's go back to this guy. Or let's go back to the actual whale itself, this whale walker thing. And let's bind him again. Hopefully it won't take long. Now normally when I do this, I use a precision of maybe seven or so. That seems to be pretty standard. So let's see how well we did. Okay, that looks good. Yep, now you can see that that vertice is now moving. Boom, that looks okay. That's not bad. I am fairly pleased with what we've done here. So that's just a little trick that you can use if you want to deform something really complex with a much simpler mesh. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Uh, check me out, DX3 Studios, on Facebook. And check out all my videos on YouTube. And I'd love to hear your comments, especially if they're good ones. If they're not, well, you know.